My name is Brandon and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see in here, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button so you stay notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get straight on with today's video. Hey everyone and welcome back to Is That More Brandon. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a review for the 22nd episode of Love Island. At the beginning of the episode, we obviously found out that Lana had decided to couple up with Casey, meaning that obviously Ron was going to be left with Tanyelle again. Casey obviously walked over to sit down next to Lana, and I think at this point everyone was just, like I said, in a bit of shock. They didn't realise that she was going to choose a different guy, rather than sticking with her original option of Ron. Uh, Tanyelle obviously said that she feels like she's got a bit of home with Ron. Ron basically said to her he didn't expect that one bit. Tanya basically explained to him that he was the best person in the villa and Ron basically said I'm just going to let them be happy. Um, I'm either going to let him mess it up or not mess it up and then obviously it's up to Lana what she wants to do. Uh, Lana had a quick chat with Olivia and Ellie and Olivia basically said she was proud of Lana for what she did and Lana basically said well why not give Casey a chance like I haven't actually got to know the guy I've been on one date with him like I've only known him for a couple of days she's not closing any doors with Ron it's just that she's potentially going to open a different one. Kai said to Ron at least it's over at least you now can focus um, and Tanyelle said to Lana that he said he didn't want to speak to her tonight um, with Lana asking if he was okay and Tanyelle saying that it seemed like Ron was putting on a brave face. So I think it was just that girl's chat because I think Tanyelle had already had a chat with Ron and he just said I don't really want to talk to her right now. So obviously she's then with girl code said to Lana that he, he said he's not really wanting to talk. So Lana thought I'm going to brave it anyway so she went over to the boys which obviously included Ron um, and he basically said I'm not ready to chat yet. So. I think it's fair enough on Ron's part, the fact that, yeah, he's just kind of been mugged off at the fire pit. He's not going to want to talk to the girl who didn't want him. But also because of his actions, I feel like I I kind of do and don't feel sorry for him. So I think in this situation, I do feel a little bit upset for him. But yeah, maybe he just needs his time to, to let that simmer first. Ron actually then went over to have a quick chat with Casey, with Lana saying to the girls, why is he talking to Casey first? He doesn't want to talk to me, so why is he talking to, to this new guy? And he basically said to Casey, you've got a good one. Don't do what I did, and obviously you know how special she is. And Casey said that this could have gone either way. Uh, Casey said to Lana, he was happy, with Lana saying, I'm glad you're happy, and I'm also happy. And Casey said it was time for him to focus all of his energy and attention to Lana. With Will and Shaq, uh, Shaq said that he's got a lot of time for him and Jesse. And he also said to Tanya that even if it doesn't work with Casey, it will teach Ron a lesson, saying to Tanya that actually he deserves what's happened with the Lana situation um, and Shaq also said to Tanya that her speech was very short but it was also very sweet with things such as her being beautiful, kind and obviously intelligent. He likes honesty and he likes how the two of them carry themselves in the villa. Olivia said to Lana um, obviously the fact that she's going off what he's made her feel in the last few days it was probably right to pick Casey but it doesn't mean there's nothing there with Ron it just means as of now her head is with someone else and Lana said that she didn't want to go upstairs because she was trying to avoid the drama because I think this is when the two girls were getting ready for bed and she was like I don't know what to do I don't want to go upstairs Tom basically says of Ron that he shouldn't give up with Lana he just needs to kind of think about what his next uh, game plan is going to be and we saw Casey carrying Tanya to bed with her going softly 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 because he didn't want to I don't think she wanted to get hurt or be thrown on the bed so he, she was like be careful be careful uh, Ron also said to Tanya that he can't help but think uh, that Lana has made a stupid decision and in the morning, uh, Casey basically said to everyone that it was nice to be up there in terms of being in the bedroom rather than downstairs. And he also added that it was nice to step away from a triangle. Uh, Sammy said to Lana that if Ron was to say that he was closing things with her, what would you do? And Ron basically said, if I have to pursue someone, then I basically have to do what I have to do. He added that I've lost the battle, but I haven't lost the war. Uh, Jordan said about Ellie that she had a nice, short and sweet speech. And Kai basically said he couldn't stop smiling. And all of the guys were smiling back when obviously him and Olivia uh, were coupled up together. Ron and Lana actually had their first chat following the recoupling. And she basically said to him, I don't like upsetting you. And that she said the fact that she was picking Casey, it just gives her a couple more days to get to know him. To actually then work out whether there actually is something between the two of them. She said that she spent lots of days being upset and she doesn't want to go back into a couple with Ron pretending everything was okay. Ron basically said here that the coupling was the chance to get things back on track. And Lana basically said, well, I'm not married off. And Ron said that every time they're not in a couple, they seem to be distancing a little bit further. With Ron saying, part of me thinks that you know you messed up in terms of the decision that you made. So I think it was kind of a nice chat. It was kind of Ron kind of opening up being like, look, I know I've made some mistakes. Also, I now think you've made a mistake. 
and Lana being like, look, I'm just giving this guy a little bit more time. If it works, it works, and if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Lana basically said that she, if she wouldn't have gone with Casey, she wouldn't know how Ron would have reacted, adding that she wanted it back. So she told Tanyelle and Sammy that she wanted what she had with Ron back. Uh, she added that she couldn't sleep, she was up all night, and Tanyelle basically said if you don't feel it, you can't force something with someone just because they're a nice person. Uh, Jordan wanted to see if there was an interest in Ellie. He needed to spend a little bit more time with her. So for breakfast, he made her granola and bananas, with Ellie saying that when she first came in, it was obviously very, very rushed, but it's nice to now let something progress naturally. Sammy said to Tom that she loves the heat, but she can't handle when the sun is so hot, like she can't be in the swimming pool all day. Um, she needed a swimming lesson, and she added that it was a good night for her last night. And Sammy said that they seemed to be opening up in every single chat that they had. Um, I think that's when Tom gave Sammy a little swimming lesson. So that was, yeah, that was like five minutes worth. And then, yeah, Casey said to Lana uh, that he's already told the boys that he's on cloud nine and wants to spend more time with her. And Lana basically said to him that she was the last one to go to sleep. So I think here she said it was just because she couldn't get to sleep. But I think it's because she knows that she doesn't really feel anything with Casey now. Um, and she kind of made an oopsie decision. Um, but yeah, that's why she wasn't really flirting or she wasn't really, yeah, she was kind of holding back a little bit here. So yeah, that was kind of that. In terms of the challenge, the challenge was called Gladiators and it was up to the boys to compete. Obviously, one of them were gonna be crowned the gladiator. Shaq basically said that gladiators are good looking guys with muscles, so that kind of, he fits the description for that. Um, and Jesse basically said that all of the boys looked amazing. What they had to do was they had to throw a stone, choose a girl, wheel them around in some sort of wheelbarrow thing, and then obviously take them up to the throne and kiss them. Kai chose Olivia, Will chose Jesse, and she basically said that he does uh, twerks a lot better than her and whether she should be concerned. Uh, Shaq obviously picked Tanya, Jordan picked Ellie, with Ellie saying that the challenge was iconic. Casey picked Lana, saying that it was a nice kiss with her as expected. Um, and Ron obviously also picked Lana, with Lana thinking, oh my goodness, he's like fought for me. And he basically said, you're going down, boy. She might be with the prince for now, but she'll be with the real king soon. So he kind of then stuck the fake sword at Casey. But yeah, that was quite funny. It's almost like, I know what I did was wrong, but I'm gonna get my, my princess back. So the winner of the challenge was Shaq. So he was voted the sexiest gladiator. And Ron basically said to Tom that what he did in the challenge was quite funny. Uh, and Tom said that obviously it's the girl's decision at the end of the day as to what, um, what happens next. Uh, Ron basically said he can't hang around forever. He needs to know from Lana whether she's still interested in him or whether she's going to pursue with something else. Um, Lana was happy that Ron chose her. Tanya said that she thought he would still be angry. And they also had the quick chat that Lana said that she held back a little bit with Casey because obviously she kind of really wasn't feeling it. They basically discussed the Sammy situation. Tanya basically said that uh, Olivia wasn't happy because Sammy kind of poured water on Olivia as a joke and Sammy basically said that she's created a problem out of nothing So there might be a little bit of drama here because I think she just kind of when she was being taken around by Tom She kind of just as a little bit of a joke just pushed the water thing and Olivia kind of got offended I think Olivia also spoke to Tanya and she told Tanya about the Sammy situation Adding that if Tanya was as close to her as she thought she was she would have at least spoken to her and um, so the fact that now Sammy has now taken Tanya and Lana to a different little girl group, and Olivia's now only got Tanya. Olivia's not sure if there's maybe something between her and Sammy, or the fact that Sammy now doesn't like her, so she's kind of a bit unsure what's happening. And she said that maybe that Sammy's trying to turn Tanya and Lana against her, or try and turn her and Tanya against each other. Uh, Casey said to Will and Jordan that he seems to be living rent-free in Ron's head, and Casey said uh, that he would rather Ron be honest with him and not to be sneaky about the situation. Jordan said that he needs to nip it in and get that clarity, uh, with Casey saying that Ron is quite sly moving towards Lana, and Ron basically saying to Casey that in challenges it is down to a lot of fun. Casey said to him his intentions are still there, and that's what he's a bit confused about, because obviously he said he wasn't wanting to get to know Lana and he kind of wished Casey good luck. In the challenge has now kissed her and has obviously started getting those chats back up to where they were before. Uh, Ron basically said there's no one else to have a connection with in here, in the villa, and Casey said that his understanding was that the two of them were done. So I think at the end of the episode, Ron basically said, we're not done, like the feelings that I have for her, I'm not gonna just turn them off. As of now, I'm just gonna let her make a decision. She can get to know you, that can either go really well, that can either not go really well, and then she'll come back to me. But he's basically said, I'm not chasing her, I'm just showing her that I like her, and it's now her decision as to what she does. And I think right at the end, Casey just said, 
good or fine or something like that just a one word to end the episode so that was it for episode 22 uh, if you did enjoy don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until my next review thank you for watching and goodbye